because I mean, they got a cage over there. Well, they you have to go back to the line. You don't have a cage on this side. No fear. 
NHS is welcome here. That it doesn't matter. That 
And it doesn't matter if it's the Republican Party, if it's the Republican Party, the Democratic Party, or the Democratic Party. That they all support. That they all support the same system. The same system of mass deportations. Of mass deportations and detentions. And detentions and separating families. And separating families. That this was happening long before Trump. That this was happening long before Trump. That this was happening under Obama. That this was happening under Obama. And it's just escalating now. And that it's just escalating now. So we need to have a sense of urgency. So we need to have a sense of urgency. But also understand the context. But also understand the context. And the history. And the history. From where all this comes. From where all this comes. My name is Michaela. Uh, I'm speaking today on behalf of the Foley Square occupation. We are the New York branch of the Occupy ICE national movement. This movement exists because ICE is an out of control paramilitary force with an $8 million budget. They imprison 30,000 people every day, tearing families apart and placing them in cruel internment camps. Yes, internment camps. ICE uses techniques of white supremacist ethnic cleansing. This is more than violent. It's genocidal. And it has plagued this country since the inception of its colonial borders. We are occupying the park directly across from the 26th Federal Plaza, 24 hours seven days a week to ensure that families who are facing deportation get what they need. We give them food, legal referrals, health care referrals, first aid treatment, supplies, and emotional support. We are there to disrupt ICE operations and ensure that ICE, that DHS, that these fucking pigs no, we will not stop until ICE operations are abolished in New York City and across the nation. We will not stop, not even during the hours between 12 a.m. and 6 a.m. in which we are forcibly evicted by excessive police presence from the park daily. Every night, we pack up our camp, park it on the sidewalk, and rebuild again in the morning. Our bodies are tired, but it is nothing in comparison to the fatigue communities directly terrorized by ICE feel every single day. We are committed to stay and defy these fake borders. They will not continue to kidnap black, brown, and indigenous bodies whose ancestors were likely here when these borders were instead open migration paths between communities. Can you imagine what it must feel like to be kicked out of the land that was stolen from you? I know my loved ones might have to feel that someday soon. It could be today. It could be tomorrow. We don't know. We demand at the Occupy ICE Foley Square New York City okay, <laughs> that the United States freeze all detainees in New York City and that they close detention centers and that they end the raids and the checkpoints and that they end ICE operations in New York City, that they release the names of all agents involved in sexual abuse and other forms of torture and brutality. We demand that they stop the deportations through New York City. No extraditions to other states. We demand that they reinvest ICE operation budgets to communities terrorized by ICE, especially black, brown, and indigenous communities. We demand that they create a fund to reunite families. Abolish ICE. No nations, no states, no borders, no masters. Chicola Migra. Thank you.